All right, guys, what's going on right here? Or Zorok bringing you guys another quick video. And today we got to talk about Tyler Ninja Blevins. This kid is so fucking annoying and so hypocritical. He doesn't even realize it. That's how stupid he is. Um, today he put out a minute, a uh, two minute and 20 second long video on Twitter talking about why gamers shouldn't be so toxic towards gaming developers and why we shouldn't tweet, oh, fuck this game and things like that, promote hate culture. It's not promoting a hate culture, first off, buddy. If you would know, that's called passion. When someone's been playing a game, for example, Call of Duty this year, a lot of the developers have gotten a lot of hate because we've been playing this game, some of us 10 years, some of us 15. You know, some people since the very first one came out. And you want to know why some of us get mad that the developers don't listen and things like that? It's because we've played the game for so long you would think we would be on the same page by now. So yeah, it's not being toxic. It's being passionate. There's certain things that we want and they take out and do at their own liberty that we didn't ask for. Therefore, you would think they would understand that if we ask for something to be taken out, clearly nobody wants it. Maybe even put like a voting system in for us to be able to talk about things like that. But no, you wanted to go online and say, oh, influencers should do this, influencers should do that, influencers should do that to be positive. No, first off, if I remember correctly, about a month ago, you're the same influencer that tweeted out that you guys should be fucking treated different just because you have more followers and subscribers and things like that. So eat a dick, Ninja, you fucking blue-haired dickhead. You're not focused towards a major audience either. You're focused towards kids. I'm sorry to tell you. I don't know if you know this, but your audience is all kids. If anybody over the age of 12 watches you, they have autism. Like, let's be real. You're not entertaining. You run a bullshit stream. And the only reason you're big is because you have a fucking relatable content that gets blown up by fucking companies now that you're sponsored. You put out this video trying to make yourself the almighty god when you're not. You're just an average fucking content creator that got lucky and blew up. Let's be real. Like, anybody that watches this will probably, you know, either agree with me or have that feeling like, oh, that, that's kind of harsh. No. This kid is so hypocritical, he has said... You know, he should be treated different because he's a large content creator. I'm sorry, no. You can work just like the rest of everybody else. Um, it's just aggravating. Watching that video, I, you know, I was ready to burst a blood vessel. Because what do you, like, this kid tweeted at the fucking COD developers um, the other day and got a response instantly. There's pros that play this game for a living that don't get a response right off the rip. Do you see the issue there? Y you're talking about things from only your perspective. You're not seeing the other side of things. You're probably the biggest content creator out right now. Do I agree with that? No, I think you're honestly terrible at what you do. I'm sorry. That's just my opinion, you know. Some people probably love you, and there are people that love you, but no, nah, I'm good. Um, I think it's just an absolute joke. Fortnite sucks. It's not a fucking gamer's game. That's a nerdy-ass game. Um, I'm sorry. So going into this, um, I don't know what he wanted out of this video, but I'm sure he expected, I don't think he expected backlash, but that's what he's going to get. That had to be one of the dumbest videos I've ever seen. He pretty much tried to preach to us that we should be more positive. And the thing is, we tried to be positive back in the day. If you were part of this community before, we were always cool as shit. But the reason we had to not be so cool was because fucking these developers do not listen at all. And, like, you have to be relatively aggressive to get your point across. And if we're not, we get reamed. It's really, really annoying to pay $60, $65, dollars $70 for a game and not get a joyful experience out of that or be able to play it in a way that's, you know, fun for you. Instead, they want to change things and make it so, you know, other new players can come in and try to adapt. That's not what we want. And you could tell he was really focusing this at the Call of Duty community because he got that response from those developers. We don't get that. Like I said, the pros that play this game don't even get that. It's it's honestly depressing as shit. You know, we ask for things like, oh, we want to capture the flag for pro, for pro play. But no, we get stuck with Domination, one of the worst modes for competitive because it's unbalanced and the spawns suck. So when we tell a developer something and they don't listen, the only way to get it across is to be more brash about it. And... I feel like you're missing the point here just because you have direct contacts to people we don't. So that fucking tweet, if it blows up and gets 18,000 retweets or, or likes and they finally see it and maybe they even reply to it and, 
you know, mention us that they they're gonna do something about it, it stops instantly, literally instantly stops. And that's what I think is just really annoying about this kid. He just always talks out of his ass like he knows what's going on. Just do your shit on Fortnite and shut the fuck up. All right, that's been my rant on this retarded, blue-haired fucking kid ninja. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know down below what you guys think, and I'll see you guys tomorrow.